Um, yeah, I think this is probably the third video that I have made today. You know, when I get out and I'm driving around, um, I always do that. Now, here's what this video is about. I'm going to call it the Big Bed Debate. <laughs> Let me tell you, I am really looking forward to having a real bed. Now, I am thankful as I can be for my little cottage and my little cot. So, but, but a bed is the next thing for me. Um, I think it'll be better, uh, I'll get better rest, and um, it'll be a good thing. Not to mention, it will make my bedroom look a little nicer. So, the big debate is about twin or full. Do I want a twin bed? Do I want a full bed? I've been going back and forth about that, y'all. A full bed would be awesome. I'd have plenty of room to stretch out. Hazel could sleep with me. But there's no room for a nightstand. It's really a pretty tight fit. I mean, I can find something really narrow to go in there, but with a twin bed, sheets are cheaper, you have more room in your room, you have room for nightstands. So. Now, I have twin sheets and I have full sheets, but I also have a twin, I mean a full-size mattress cover, Oceanside's finest, um, and I've got two bed pillows. I have a beautiful quilt for a twin size, and I have two beautiful quilts for a full size. So, I mean, these decisions are hard for me. Y'all know that. Picking out countertops, picking out cabinets, picking out flooring, picking out paint. These decisions are hard, y'all, and I do not know why. I used to be much more decisive about things. Okay, so, I texted Sandy, and I said, Sandy, I just can't make up my mind, and she goes, I vote for a full-size bed. It'll be much more comfortable. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get a full-size bed. Now, I know, I know, I know. Bed bugs, disease, bodily fluids. I know. I know all about that stuff, y'all. And I will be very careful. I'll be very careful about what I get. I've been looking on Craigslist, and I saw a mattress... Well, actually, it was, you know, one of those metal frames, and it was a mattress and a box spring. Now, I prefer a platform bed. They're a little lower to the ground, um, and they don't require a box spring. Less is more, so they say. So, um, this mattress looked really good in the pictures. They had pictures of it, you know, like standing up and all that. So, you could see it really clearly. And I saw no stains whatsoever. So, I sent the guy a message. Oh, it wasn't Craigslist. It was OfferUp. Sorry. And I sent him a message. I said, do you think you could deliver that to Oceanside. He lives in Escondido, I think, which is not far 
but I believe I tried to put a full-size mattress in here before for some reason. It would fit in tank, but I don't think it would fit in here. I don't know. I'm have to do some measuring, but I guess he does not want to deliver because I haven't heard from him. Now, the mattress, the whole thing, I think was like $150, which really, y'all, for a complete bed, that's not bad. So, um, I'm going to measure and see if it'll fit in the van. I hope so. Um, you know, I'm all about buying used stuff. However, it's got to be nice. It, it can't be nasty. And even with a good mattress, I always use a mattress cover. I have one from when I was at Terry's. So, um, that's the bed thing, y'all. <laughs> oh, life's problems. But, um, so I think I've pretty much decided on that. Yeah, you can get a twin one. It's a little bit less expensive, but not that much more that I've seen anyway. And you really have to keep your eye out because that one full mattress that I saw, that was the only one that I saw that looked, you know, really nice. So, um, I guess I'll contact that dude again and do some measuring and we'll see. Maybe before long, I will have a real bed. That will be awesome. So, I'll let y'all know about that. I've put up a couple of my cute things in the cottage and I think may I, I don't know I thought maybe I would take pictures of things as I put them up and after I get two or three I'll just attach them to a little video instead of waiting until I have everything up which could take me forever and then making a video of everything. I know you guys find this just fascinating, especially you guys, but it's my life, okay? So, I love you guys. Do something fun today. And I just got an email saying I have a prescription ready. Now, I chose CVS because they were supposed to be getting a drive through Well, they're not. So I have to park. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Um, I'm not really lazy. I just like to do things the easy way. So, but they don't have a drive through and I don't want to go all the way another maybe mile and a half to Rite Aid. They have a drive through For some reason, I never really cared about that pharmacy. I can't... Maybe because... Do y'all remember when I backed Tank up in the parking lot of Rite Aid and I hit this truck and bent my ladder? I didn't really hit it. I just backed into it. Oh, I was so mad at myself. Anyway, do something fun today, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.